paradise lost. Sun-drenched beaches and azure waters mask a sinister truth. Palm trees swayed gently in the warm breeze, casting long shadows on the golden sand. A gentle breeze whispered through the wreckage, carrying with it the faint scent of salt and decay, a reminder of the island's hidden past. Razor pulled his wife Lena closer, feeling the warmth of her body against his. It was a small comfort in a place that felt increasingly hostile. Their daughter Lily skipped ahead, seashells clutched in her small hand. Her innocent laughter echoed eerily in the stillness, a stark contrast to the foreboding atmosphere. This island paradise was supposed to be a fresh start, a place where they could leave their troubles behind and begin anew. But the island had other plans, a chance to bury the past, to escape the shadows that had haunted them for so long. Yet the darkness seemed to follow them, lurking just out of sight. Ripper and his family were right behind them, their laughter a fragile shield against the silence of the jungle. It was a thin veneer of normalcy in a place that felt anything but. Razor knew better than to trust tranquility. He had learned the hard way that peace was often a prelude to chaos. He'd seen enough to know that beauty often concealed something ugly, something desperate. The island's serene facade was a mask, hiding its true nature. He'd felt a shift in the air when they'd come ashore. The island watched them, its presence palpable and unnerving. He saw it in the glint of the sun off the water, a deceptive sparkle that belied the danger beneath. In the shadows that stretched from the trees, reaching out like dark fingers ready to ensnare the unwary, he saw it in Ripper's eyes, a flicker of the wolf they both kept chained, a reminder of the violence they were capable of. It had started innocently enough, a shared charter, a chance encounter with old friends. It seemed like fate had brought them together. A shared charter, a chance encounter with old friends. Razor and Ripper, trying to outrun their past. Razor and Ripper, trying to outrun their past. They had hoped the island would be a sanctuary, a place to build a future for their families, trying to build a future for their families. But the storm had come suddenly, a raging beast that tossed their boat like a child's toy. But the storm had come suddenly, a raging beast that tossed their boat like a child's toy. The sea had been merciless, and now they were stranded. Now, stranded on this island, Razor felt the familiar pull of his old life. The instincts he had tried to bury were resurfacing. Survival was a language he spoke fluently. The island's mysteries were a puzzle he was determined to solve. And he would do whatever it took to protect his family. The island held secrets, dark and dangerous. Razor could feel it in his bones. The island was alive, watching, waiting. He just hoped they weren't about to become its next victims. The sense of impending doom was almost tangible. The sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in hues of blood orange and bruised violet. The beauty of the sunset was a cruel joke, masking the island's true nature. Nightfall, time for the monsters to come out and play, the darkness brought with it a sense of dread, as if the island itself was coming alive. Razor, Lena, and Lily huddled together, their breaths mingling in the cool night air. They could feel the island's eyes on them, a silent observer of their every move. The jungle came alive with sounds, the rustling of leaves, the distant calls of unseen creatures. It was as if the island was whispering secrets, taunting them with its mysteries. Razor knew they had to be prepared for whatever the night would bring. The island was a predator, and they were its prey. But amidst the darkness, there was a glimmer of hope. They had each other, and as long as they stayed together, they had a chance. Determined to survive, Razor steeled himself for the challenges ahead. The island may have been a place of nightmares, but he was ready to face them head on. As dawn broke over the island, the first light of day brought with it a sense of renewal. The battle for survival had just begun, and Razor was ready to fight. The island provides. Familiar instincts resurface as survival becomes paramount. Days bled into nights, each one more grueling than the last. The relentless sun beat down, unyielding and merciless, turning the once vibrant island into a barren wasteland. Hunger gnawed at their bellies, a constant reminder of their dire situation. The lack of food was taking its toll, both physically and mentally. Razor watched Lily grow thinner, her laughter fading into a distant memory. Each day she seemed to wither away a little more. He felt Lena's worried gaze on him, her eyes filled with unspoken fears and questions. They communicated without words, their bond growing stronger in the face of adversity. Their paradise was becoming a prison, the once beautiful island now a place of captivity and desperation. The dream of a tropical escape had turned into a nightmare. Ripper stumbled back into camp, his face grim, a wild light in his eyes. He had been out hunting, driven by the primal need to provide for his group. A wild pig, he'd brought it down with a rock, a testament to his resourcefulness and determination. 
The sight of the animal brought a glimmer of hope to the camp. Razor had seen that look before, the thrill of the hunt and the satisfaction of a successful kill. It was a look that spoke of survival and the lengths one would go to achieve it. The thrill of the hunt was intoxicating, a rush of adrenaline that made them feel alive in the midst of their struggle. The forest became their battleground, each hunt a test of their skills and instincts. The ease with which they shed blood was both alarming and necessary. Survival demanded sacrifices, and they were willing to make them. It had been years but the beast within still slumbered, ready to be unleashed. The island was awakening something primal in them, a side they had long forgotten. They feasted that night, the smell of roasted meat filling the air. The fire ripper started with nothing but his bare hands and sheer will was a beacon of hope in the darkness. Razor watched his old friend, the firelight dancing in his eyes. There was a sense of camaraderie, a shared understanding of their situation. He saw the darkness there but also a fierce protectiveness for his own family, mirroring Razor's own. They were all in this together, bound by their need to survive. The island was changing them, bringing back the ghosts they'd tried so hard to bury. Memories of past struggles and losses resurfaced, haunting their every step. The next day, Razor found a glint of metal in the wreckage. A knife. It was a small victory, a tool that could mean the difference between life and death. He cleaned it, the familiar weight comforting in his hand. It was a reminder of the world they had left behind, a world where such tools were taken for granted. He wasn't sure if he should be relieved or terrified. The knife was a symbol of hope, but also a reminder of the violence that might be necessary to survive. The island was providing, but at what cost? Each gift came with a price, a transformation that was both physical and psychological. They were becoming something else, something they had never imagined. 